Welcome. Plato was an immensely influential ancient Greek philosopher, student of Socrates, and the founder of the academy in Athens where Aristotle studied. So this class will be about an introduction to Plato. Plato was a pivotal figure in Western philosophy along with his teacher and um, Socrates and student Aristotle. He has been a major um, influence on not many critics and he was majorly influenced by Homer, um, uh, the writer of Iliad and Odyssey. So Plato lived during a time of political decline and dissolution. Education was in a very sorry state at that time. And the epics of Homer were venerated by the Greeks at that time. Courage, heroism, magnificence were virtues prized highly by the Greeks. So during this time, um, philosophers and orators were regarded as leading spirits and very superior to poets and artists. Now, according to Plato, who is a poet? Poet is considered to be a very divinely inspired person. And poetry is not a craft that can be learned and practiced at will. Instead, it is the result of divine inspiration. The implication here, which is later taken up by Plato is that poetry is not rational and that poets themselves do not often understand what they write because they, are, they write in a moment of frenzy. Therefore, poetry cannot be relied upon as it is not the result of the conscious mind. So you can find that according to Plato, poetry is not rational. Plato disapproves of poetry because it is immoral. And he says that philosophy is better than poetry because philosophy deals with idea or truth, whereas poet and poetry deals with what appears to him, which is an illusion, okay? or um, rather it's a moment of frenzy, the product of a moment of frenzy. We will next try to study and understand what um, mimesis meant uh, by Plato. Plato believed that ideas were heavenly archetypes alone are true and real. All earthly things are just copies of uh, the heavenly archetypes. In other words, beauty, goodness, justice, etc., are mere copies of the ideal beauty, ideal goodness, etc., which exist in a heavenly realm. Plato regards mimesis or imitation as a mere representation, not an expression, which is creative. If ultimate reality consists of the ideas of things of which individual objects are but reflections or imitations, then the painter or poet who imitates those individual objects is imitating an imitation, and so producing something which is still further removed from ultimate reality. That is why mimesis is thrice removed from reality in the Platonic concept of the world. This is an example. Um, a chair exists firstly as an idea, secondly as the object of craftsmanship, and thirdly as an object of representation in art. To summarize, Plato attacks poetry on intellectual, emotional, and moral grounds, and he demonstrates its uselessness and its corrupting influence. Thank you.